Today we are going to be painting our masterpieces that we made inspired by the book The Cat and the Bird by Geraldine Elshner, illustrations by Peggy Nile. And that book itself was inspired by Paul Klee's Cat and Bird Painting. Um, and so in the story there are wonderful, beautiful, saturated, which means really bright colors and illustrations. Um, and they've used different colors for skies and backgrounds, depending on the kind of story or mood you want to tell. Um, so what we're going to be doing is also painting our pictures um, with wonderful colors and that fine, fun stuff. Um, so we're going to be using our tempera cakes today. We have a brush, paper towels, and water. Um, and part of our goal today is being responsible with our painting. Um, so that means washing your brush in the water before switching colors. We want our colors to stay. We don't want muddy mixed palettes. Um, so first I need to get my brush wet and make sure it's clean, wiping and touching the paper towel. When it looks clean like that, there's no color in the water, that means you're good to start painting. Um, so for my sky, I want mine to kind of be nighttime. So I'm going to get my brush a little bit wet, and then in this color, I'm going to touch the tempera cake and go around and around, filling my brush with the pigment. I don't have to push very hard, and I can see that this is ready to go. Um, so now I'm going to do big, broad brush strokes in an area like this really spreading out that paint. If I hold it close to the silver part, what we call the danger zone, I can have control. But I don't hold it on the silver part, just near it. So I'm gonna keep painting. Around these areas, I use just the tip of the brush. Um, I wanna keep it nice and neat. I don't wanna be messy. Um, we're gonna put these on display. We want them to look really good. Um, so I'm kind of running out of color. I can tell because it's getting scratchy and light. So I'm going to put a little more water on my brush, wipe off any extra, and go around and around in that teal color again. Starting with big brush strokes in those big open areas. And then when I get near the edge of something, I want to start, you know, going a little bit slower, using the tip of the brush to maybe outline the edge of something, and then big brush strokes to fill in some of those open areas. Grab a little bit more water, go around and around. Now this looks really dark. If I spread it out, I'll help lighten it up a little bit. Kind of holding it like a pencil. Remember, slow down near the edges that we've outlined with our Sharpies. And I'm kind of going back over it while it's still wet side to side. All right, so I'm going to stop right there. If I was like actually painting this, I would make sure to cover that other half. But I want to show you some tricks on doing little spots. So right now I need to clean my brush. I scrub, I wipe, I touch the paper towel. Now I'm seeing that that is not as clean, so I'm going to scrub again, wipe again, and touch again. Um, maybe one more time. There, it's starting to look like a clean water. Now, I'm not gonna paint the bird. I'm gonna skip to something different because the blue around the bird is wet and I don't want those colors to mix. So I'm gonna put my paintbrush in the water, wipe, and then I'm gonna go for a new color. And because I cleaned it, the yellow is gonna stay yellow. Now, this is a small area. I don't wanna hold it down here. I wanna hold it here and carefully, and I'm just spreading out that paint inside my cat. While I have this yellow, I'm gonna look around my painting and see is there any other little spots? Oh, maybe I want a window to be yellow because I've still got paint on my brush, so I might as well use it while I've got it here. Yellow, yellow. Um, even my moon is gonna be yellow. Okay, um, so it looks like I've kind of filled in where I wanted to with yellow. Now I can clean my brush, scrubbing its hair, wiping, touching the paper towel. I don't see any yellow there, so I'm good to start a new color. Um, and so another cool thing that you can do um, is trace the outside of a shape when you have something like these triangles. So I'm going to get my new color, round and around. And for like this triangle top, 
I'm going to paint around the edges of it and then fill it in. And that makes it look really nice and neat. So when you start thinking about your different shapes, think about tracing around the outside of it and then coloring it in. If you're, there's a shape inside of it, you can even trace that shape. Do your very best work on these paintings. We are going to cover all the white space with color. So you see I've got quite a bit to go. Um, when we're done for the day, you're going to need to wash your brush, wipe away the extra water, check to see it's clean. Brushes um, will go back in the containers where you got them. Um, our artwork we will get on the drying rack when I call up your tables. And paints just leave at your table, please. All right, thank you.